Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm at another one of my home consignment shops in my local area. One day I'm gonna get all you guys to venture out into some antique shops, home consignments, and upscale home consignments. There are, I guarantee you, there is an upscale home consignment shop in your area and you will be blown away about what you can find. I just love thrifting. I love finding furniture, portraits, and sometimes a piece will just speak to you in your soul. Um, these, some, a lot of items are vintage, uh, with, with that being 20 plus years or even uh, antique. And they're saying that is like 100 years ago. Anything that lasts 20 plus years these days let alone 100 years and be in pristine condition built well never move from the spot where the homeowner put it it is just amazing to see someone um, purchase it and make it their own I don't even mind if people repurpose it or paint it or make it work for them by turning maybe a tall uh, chest into a TV stand or into a china hut. It's just amazing what people would do. Um, the price of wood has gone up so much. And a lot of people think that you're ruining, ruining um an antique or vintage piece of furniture just by painting it. But you know, not all pieces are kept in the well condition shape as others. And just someone even trying to repurpose it is great because when you have places like Kirkland's, Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, Pier One, Z Gallery, they are still making the same type of furniture credenzas china cabinet um but they mainly call it glass bookcases and they now call it credenzas and they aren't built as well and some of it's not even real wood and most of the time and and they call it modern or and I and you know I do understand that a lot of people have gotten away from the dark mahogany woods and um, you pretty much don't even see that anymore and they're having their trends such as farmhouse or um, modern or they're calling it upscale and they're using a lot of mirrored furniture I do understand all that. I like that stuff too. But sometimes, um, at least go to your local thrift stores or home consignment shops, upscale or not. Um, you never know. Some people donate to Habitat for Humanity and even Hospice House because that charity is dear to them and they would rather their estate go to places like that instead of trying to resell it and because their family may not want it because they're more into the modern area but today i did purchase that table and six chairs i was a single mother of four kids and while raising my they're all adults now but while raising my kids that was something that i couldn't afford i would get the cheaply made furniture, glass table, wrought iron. Um, I've had a table with six chairs, but it was not well made. It was not sturdy. It was probably hollow wrought iron, and I've long given it away. And um, this is my first wood purchase. I normally buy um, wall decor, paintings, um, anything raw iron or glass i love brass that's all i was really buying when i go to the thrift shop this is my first piece of furniture 
and I'm glad to buy it. Now I could probably do some tablescapes and and before I had just a uh, a small, I guess you could say a buffet table with two chairs. Now I have a beautiful long table seated dining dining room table seating six. And here is the table I was speaking of to you guys. And I'm so excited when I'm able to go pick it up. They give you three days to pick it up. Um, I probably will paint it. And I'm not sure about all that. But thanks for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. I'll give you an update on the table soon. Bye-bye.